Okay, welcome back to the channel. My call sign is Blitz. If you're new here, thanks for dropping in. I'm guessing that you saw the title Survival Gadgets and you're like, yeah, that sounds interesting. Well, it sounds interesting to me too. So that's why we're here doing a video on Survival Gadgets that I have acquired over the course of, I guess it's been about six months. I started thinking, I'm like, you know, it would really be cool to see what type of unique survival tools are out there on the market. So over that course of time, I've acquired a few items. Some serve more than one purpose. Some, well, supposedly do one thing really, really, really well. And others, not too sure about it. One I've had before and broke it almost immediately upon use. But I'm willing to give it another chance. So that being said, if talking about survival gadgets and testing them out in the woods and having fun with them and rating them on a scale of 1 to 10 is something that is up your alley, let's go ahead and get started. So the star of this show and the first item on the list is the Survival Torch by Prepared 4X. This thing is a monster. I mean, look at this ferro rod. It is six inches long, if I recall correctly, which, yes, that should be more than enough to get the job done. At least that's what she said. So <laughs> let's get a closer look at this device. I know, yeah, real funny. So what do we got going on here? Well, we got this big piece of hemp rope, which is contained in this housing, which overall functions as a wick, which we'll see in a second. But of course, we got that, right? That's our tender. Then we got the monstrous ferro rod that we just talked about a second ago, and this big striker. So it's pretty cool. Got everything we need here. Like you got the tender, you got the spark, and you don't need anything else. So the big question now, as it looks cool, but does it work? And more importantly, does it work well and is it effective and is it intuitive? So let's see it in action. So the first step here to make it work, and honestly, I guess the only step is just basically to fray the end of this rope and make sure that it is exposed. Then you scrape the rod and you got fire. Just like your ancestors, but obviously much cooler. Now, it's very important not to do this. Don't do this using just one edge of the scraper will not generate nearly as much sparks at both edges like this. Right out the gate, I didn't read the instructions or anything, look at the website, nothing. I just instinctively use one edge like anybody would with a normal fire steel, but in this case, you end up pitting that rod a bit and you don't produce enough sparks, which means you have to place this against a hard surface in order to get it lit. Now when you use both edges and keep that stroke pretty short, hey, you can hold it up and light it with nothing to brace against over and over and over again. I love it. Awesome design and I picked it up pretty damn fast. Now, let's talk about a score. I'd love to give it 10 out of 10, but I can't. It's gotta be nine out of 10 and that's only because I would have preferred just like some basic directions, instructions, user guide, something in the packaging. But then again, you know, I'm a man and I probably would have just ignored the directions right out of the gate. Okay, next up we have the good old Paracord Survival Bracelet. Now, I've never really been a huge fan just because it feels too bulky to wear on my wrist, but this one in particular turned out to be quite comfortable because it has this unique quick adjustability with the Velcro strap. And then, as you may have guessed, there is some important survival equipment inside. So let's break it down and see what we got going on here. Okay, well, we have paracord, obviously, and a few survival tools. Fishing line, hook, sinker, tender, duct tape, um, what's that? I, yeah, a broken razor blade, some other stuff. And to be clear here, guys, as, as we look at this, if you are using this for, for your survival, then the situation really does suck. So this is your last ditch survival gear. It's not gonna function as great as a big fire steel and striker, right? Um, you know, and everything's kind of miniature. So you keep that in mind when you evaluate kits like this. But based on what we see here, I guess, yeah, I could try to like make some sort of fishing rod or try that out. I've been there, done that. Honestly, guys, I suck at fishing. That would be annoying and boring and I get eaten up by bugs. So let's go ahead and get this tinder spark. I really want to try out this ferro rod and I have a feeling that it's going to maybe work pretty good. I don't know, Jutwine, I mean, you only need a little spark for Jutwine and it will go. Uh, 
I'm seriously impressed. Zero issue getting that spark time and time again. There's enough tinder here probably for two or three fires. And like I said, that Jew twine absolutely loves the spark once it gets nice and fluffed up down to those individual strands. So what's the score here? I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because yep, everything worked fine, but number one, like I think people make these paracord survival bracelets and just put stuff in without thinking about it too much. Like the fishing stuff, I think unless you're like a pro and you know your area really well and you can dig up some worms and get some fish and whatever the case is, absolutely pointless. I would prefer to see some more uh, tinder in there, uh, maybe a compass, who knows, right? But that stuff, really not worthwhile for me. And then I would also like to see somebody incorporate a fire steel and striker with the paracord bracelet in a better way because the way this is right here, it's difficult to use and let's say in a survival situation where your fine motor skills are absolutely toast, as you're striking that ferro rod with the striker, you might actually break part of that buckle which would make the bracelet inoperable. Okay, up next, this one is really cool and I almost gave it first place on the list, but then it wasn't as cool as starting a fire. But anyways, what do we got here? This is the Explorer's Tool by UST. And it really is a true multi-tool design, but in a way that I've never seen before. You know, typically you think of a multi-tool and you think of, you know, pliers, scissors, um, you know, uh, Allen keys and stuff like that. But this is a multi-tool for explorers, right? So you have a compass here, you also have a magnifier, and you also have, this is really cool, 4X binos. And you also have a signal mirror. It's lightweight, throw it in your pocket. You know, it's made out of plastic, so it weighs nothing. And then, uh, of course, you know, I tested the compass against my Sun Tzu. It reads true. And so with this, you know, I see this as a great backup to my compass and binos. You know, is it uh, something I would use as my primary? Of course not. You know, overall though, I can appreciate the effort that must have gone into designing a tool like this. And there, yeah, indeed there are a few moving parts, but I don't know how else you, you get around that with something like this. So overall, I thought it was pretty cool. The reviews on Amazon gave it, gave it really good reviews um, and everybody seemed to like it. So it's a cool design. For the score, uh, honestly, I wanted to give it more of a score, but it only gets an 8 out of 10, and that's just because I haven't been able to use it more. I, it does feel cheap due to the nature of plastic, so you know I'm curious to see how it holds up long term, and there's also some moving parts. You know, it, Any tool that you have or bit of gear that has a lot of moving parts is going to be prone to have more points of failure than an item that does not. All right, and moving on to this one, which is really cool. I had never heard of this company before. It's called Dual Fuel by Nature's Dual Fuel. Okay, so this Dual Fuel, I got this email from the company, and I, don't know, I guess it was a president or one of their brand reps, and he's like, check this out. This is food that you can eat, yeah, duh, obviously, but you can also use it as tinder. So I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. You know, I've never seen anything quite like this. And no, it's not magic. It's just flammable, I'm guessing, because of the you know oil and the crushed up peanuts that you have here. But either way, super tasty, and you get 800 calories in this bag. Look at how look at how small that folds down. Now imagine throwing like four or five or six of these. Just throw them at the bottom of your pack and forget about it, man. I mean, like you have like 4,000 calories there. Seriously, and you know, look at the ingredients, right? When you when you're like choosing a survival food, the ingredients matter, right? So with this, you get what you want for fuel. You get good fats, you get good proteins, and then all you really gotta do is add in some good carbs like, you know, granola bars, um, you know, some fruit or some dried fruit or whatever, and you have a great blend of delicious and nutritious foods. And as you can see right here, this thing flames up and it really gets going really well. So, you know, something like this, if you were low on like, well, first of all, you would just eat it. But if you did uh, not just want to eat it, you could also also use it for tinder let's say in a situation I'm thinking like maybe you're low on um, you know some of the, your commercial tender that you have and there's like no tender in the general area at all or if there is it's really hard to light you have this kind of as another backup and that's what I love about this entire I guess everything you see here guys it's all about redundancy it's all about having backups right and uh, that's super important in a survival situation because you know there's not a store right down the street and Amazon's just not going to deliver to wherever you're at unfortunately we're not there yet maybe in 10 years but anyways that is dual fuel i thought that was pretty cool it comes in a peanut blend and an almond blend and for the score guess what i give it a 10 out of 10 a perfect damn score i literally guys I, there was nothing i 
couldn't find that I didn't like about this product. Zero to complain about, so 10 out of 10. Finally on our list is the Blast Match, another product by UST. Now I bought this, I bought this Blast Match, not this one in particular, but another one, God knows, years ago, five, six years ago, way back in the day. And um, I probably broke it after a few uses, and then as time went on, I kind of evolved into what my go-to fire starting kit is right now, which is basically a Swedish fire steel, some Vaseline soaked cotton balls, and a big lighter. But anyways, I saw it. Saw this again. I think it popped up as an ad or something on Amazon. I said, you know what? I'll give it a shot and see if it's any better. Now, looking at this thing here, you know, um, you see it's made of plastic. Okay, fine. You know, it does feel a little flimsy. And there is one requirement for use that's important to know is, you know, you do need a, a hard, flat surface to work this piston. You know, I mean, I think it's a good design overall, but, you know, having to have that flat surface is a little bit of a downside. And you do have to have your tender placed just right uh, because if you don't, when you use the piston and you shove down on it, it will scatter your tinder. And then you'll just repeat this process and you'll get irritated and frustrated. But overall, you know, I play around with some and I, I just don't like it. The rod is kind of wobbly and it just feels like it was gonna like fall out at any moment. And in my previous experience, this tab right here broke and then the rod did indeed fall out. And I was stuck with a ferro rod and this weird little scraper piece of metal attached to plastic which kind of works but doesn't but anyways i don't know it's still seemingly a piece of junk maybe if you have bought a blast match and you've had a better experience with it feel free to leave me a comment for me i give it a score of like five maybe six out of ten i mean overall i i, I like the general idea and i can appreciate the fact that you can use this one-handed that's really good like if you're injured one arm you know whatever not functional you can use this one handed. that's good but um, yeah, overall, you know, the score is just gonna be lower. I, I'm saying five, five out of 10, six out of 10, just considering that the last one broke and this one still feels pretty flimsy. All right, so there you have it, guys. We're done. Those are all the survival gadgets. I hope you like that. I personally, I don't know. I'm, I'm unsure on a couple of them. I think the verdict is still out on them. I'm not gonna name any names, but you can let me know what you think down there in the pin post. So I'm going to play around with those items a little bit more. Some of the stuff is just like easy wins, like that food-fuel combo. I mean, what a stupid, simple, but great idea. And that's definitely going in my gear and um, some of the other items as well. So I want to know what you think down there in the comments. All of these items that I've reviewed are available down there in the pinned post. And if I find the seller for this guy right here, I will post him down there in the pinned post or a similar product. So that being said... Thanks a lot for the support, guys. Go check out the channel on Gab, where I am allowed to say whatever I want, which is nothing crazy. I just like to post workout videos and funny memes. So go check things out over there on Gab, the only place where I haven't been banned. And I dare say, like, the fact that I am banned on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook probably means that I'm doing something right. So I'll see you over there on Gab, and also see you down there in the comments. Thanks a lot for the support. Hey, you still there? Cool. Then don't forget to check out our website located on the interwebs at thesurvivaloutpost.com. We are designed and optimized for hard use, for the self-reliant who talk less and hustle more. Thanks to our international connections, you get first access to unique and innovative products from around the world. This is a gear that will give you that edge you need in a survival situation or if you're just trying to keep the lights on when the power goes out. Any content mentioned in this video is linked up down there in the pin post and be sure to watch the suggested videos for more real world survival training and knowledge.